shrinking cap, Grandpa? Catch me if you can! Grandpa! No! Be careful! Grandpa, stop! Jason Mason, and I live with my family in Sunny Sands. Our town is called Sunny Sands because it's always sunny and it's by the sea. This is Mum and Dad's bike shop, and here's Miss Smiley's Cafe, which serves the best ice cream sundaes in the world. Then there's Mr Whoops' shop, where you can buy anything and everything. This is my house, where I live with my mum, dad, sister and grandpa. I wonder what's in there. It's brilliant. It was Sunday and my friend Josh had come round. Grandpa let us open his treasure chest to play with all his old toys. Hey, I love the boat. This is an old favourite of mine. Monkey Albert. Hello, Josh. Hello, Just Josh. then, <laughs> Mum came downstairs. Hello, everyone, but I've got to dash out to visit Great Aunt Loretta. She's not feeling very well. But don't worry, I've sent for someone to come and look after you all. Don't want you to have to manage on your own, Grandpa. Can you guess who it might be? No. It was Bubbles the babysitter. Hi! I'm, I'm so glad to see you. Hello, Bubbles. Hello, Grandpa. Little did we know that today there would be trouble for Bubbles. Bubbles is always great fun. Sometimes we make things. Sometimes we play bat and ball. Sometimes we do face painting. And sometimes we act out Captain Dumbletwit stories. Sunny, sunny, but today we were having a sing song in the garden. Place to be. It's sunny and it's sandy and it's right. We thought we were in for a great afternoon. Just then we heard. Okay, I'll go. Someone was at the door. Bubbles went to answer it. Scary cat, scary cat, scary cat. I'm Jason's friend Troy. I've come to play. <laughs> hey! Troy's come to play! I met your mum outside. She said that it was okay for me to come round since Bubbles was here. Oh, she did, did she? Time I went for a little lie down. I'll be right back, Josh. Grandpa, wait! Ah! <laughs> Troy lives next door, and he's always invited himself round to play. He's very spoiled and he's very rude. Na, 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 na. He does things like this. I want it! No! Me! Give it to! And this. <laughs> but I want to play with it! And this. <sighs> and he makes Grandpa say... That boy Troy needs a taste of his own medicine. If he thinks he's going to scare Bubbles, then he's got another thing coming. Not a shrinking gap, Grandpa! <laughs> Grandpa, stop! You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get to put all kinds of magical things. He can get into my car and make it go. He can ride 
ride on Gordon, my toy seagull. Whee! <laughs> Not the plane, Grandpa. He can fly off in my plane. who knows that Grandpa shrinks, so it's really important that nobody else sees him. Grandpa, hide! I could hear Troy and Bubbles coming. his uses. We knew that Troy just had to be stopped. I'm not at all scared. I'm just fine. Deep breaths. Careful, Bubbles! Watch out! Ah! Oh! <laughs> scary cat! Scary cat! It's not funny! Oh, it's fine. I'm just being silly. <laughs> Let's put Monkey Albert up here, shall we? Where he can't get up to any more mischief. There. Now, who's for a game of hide and seek? Oh, yeah, 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 Grandpa? Troy went to Grandpa's bedroom door. I thought you were having a lie down. Are you hiding? Now I knew what Grandpa's plan was. He was going to try to give Troy a few frights because he'd scared Bubbles. And you know what Grandpa's like? If he's got an idea in his head, there's no stopping him. <laughs> hey! Have you got a battery inside you or something? <laughs> no. You're just rubbish. Now, where is everybody? I thought I should let Troy find me because Grandpa was going to need my help. Ha! Found you, Jason. You're rubbish at hiding. <laughs> Grandpa had got Monkey Albert into the coffee jar with him. This was all going to go horribly wrong. How'd you do that? I don't like it. <laughs> This time, Grandpa had gone too far. Troy was sure to find him in the coffee jar. That's it. I'm going to throw you into the pond. No! You're a horrible monkey. No, you're a horrible boy. You're a big bully. Ah, it's me! The good news was that Grandpa had not been chucked in the pond. The bad news was that Troy was running round the garden yelling. Bubbles came out of her hiding place. Oh, the monkey! It's alive! It talked to me and everything! Honest, it's really scary! You're just overexcited, Troy. Deep breaths now. So Bubbles made Troy breathe in and out until he'd calmed down. I saw that Monkey Albert had gone, so I just knew that Grandpa was up to something else. I'm so sorry I tried to scare you today, Bubbles. Look! Monkey Albert's climbed a tree! <laughs> oh, Jason! You must...
must have put him up there. <laughs> you are a one, you are. <laughs> it was you all the time, Jason. How did you do that? It was so cool. Now, who's for ice cream? Me, 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 ice cream! Oh, oh, Grandpa, jump down right now! I picked Grandpa up and put him in my pocket. And while the others were getting ice cream, I put him back down by his chair. Off came the shrinking cap and Grandpa came back to his normal size. I don't think Troy will try and scare anyone else in a hurry, do you? No, Grandpa. I think you taught him a lesson. I think we both did. Teamwork, eh? Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> When Mum came home, it was time for Troy to go. Bye-bye, Troy. Take care now. Anyone like to watch a DVD? Yes! yes! Captain Dumbletwit discovers a small planet just to the left of Pluto. Yay! I'm sorry about Troy. Still, just as well you came, Bubbles. Grandpa would never have been able to deal with Troy on his own. No, of course I wouldn't. Dumbletwit discovers a small planet just to the left of Pluto. 